So to list past events, I'm actually going to open up my database and you'll see in the events table we have five events. Now two of those events are in the past, as you see it's the first of the twelve. Um and there's two in the future and one today. So past events is ones that are, are less than today's date. So simple way of doing this is just to create a query. Add in the events. Add in the fields I'm going to use. Event number, event date, event details and leader reference. And less than date will actually just bring up the ones for today's date. So that will bring up just, as you see it brings up the two events, 3 and 5. So I'm going to see this query. Past events. And I'm now going to use a grid view to list these in the actual past events um, page. So I'm in the past events page. And I'm going to go to view my toolbox or if I click on the toolbox and I'm going to go down to the data and you'll see in the data there's a grid view so that's basically a list drag that onto my page I can then go and choose my data source so this is the first time I'm adding a data source take a wee second to come up I'm just going to use the database um, I'm going to create a new connection and I'm going to link to the database that the same tech is in the app data events database and I'm going to open it I'm going to test my connection and you'll see test connection succeeded so I can OK and you'll actually see the Microsoft ODDB data connection for the database and stored in the connection string and then ask you to save the connection string so we'll just save it as connection string and um, what is it events and I'm going to click next and you'll see then we can actually bring up the query of the past events we're selecting all the data and if we click next you can test the query and you'll see it'll list just the two um, records from the past events click finish and you'll see now that it is actually quite big but if I actually run it just you see it in Firefox and then I'm going to go and show you why it's actually looking so big so we run Firefox debugger for past events and you'll actually see the past events details listed. So there you go. So you see three event date, event details and the leader reference. Now the problem with this is that looks a wee bit untidy so I'm going to just show you how to tidy that up a wee bit and I need to actually go into the source code because you'll actually see that the ASP grid view which is the grid that we're working on is actually inside the header so I'm going to move that header up to just where the title is go back to the design you can actually see now looks a wee bit tidier you can also see that have it outside the grey jumbotron class so I'm going to actually move that up so that it actually is listed inside that class so the, the grey table or the grey background will, be, will appear so you'll see now that it's actually within that and if I save that 
and run the Firefox again actually I, I could have done it with just refreshing Firefox but you'll now see it looks a big bit tidier I can add in some text then so I'm going and add text here just saying And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change CC event number. I can change that anything. Right, that's the data field, so I don't think it's, it. it's this in here, the event text. So that's the header text, so I can change that to event reference, event date, event details, and later reference. And the only other thing I want to change is I want to change the event date. So this long day. So I'm going to actually go to the grid and add it columns. And I'm going to go to event date. And I'm going to go down to the actual date data format string. And I'm going to go curly brackets, not, colon. And I'm going to put a large D, which gives a long date format. And I'm going to click OK. You can enable paging which will allow if you had lots of events that run over two or three pages enable sorting and, and enable selection will allow you to actually which is going to be the next part of the assignment is actually to select the event and get the event details so if I now go back and refresh I can see it looks a wee bit more tidier I can Rechange some of the, I can resize the database by going to there. So One you can click the wee handles to resize and save and refresh. It's lifted it a wee bit too much now. So mother I've just come back and so again that's all to do with how you want your database to look um, too big now So again, you can work with the different aspects of the grid. Let me it a bit. Um, let's see how, let's see how that looks. And again, just by making them a wee bit bigger. <laughs> 